Wild, immersive, and intense. Those are just a few words to describe the latest production of Jerusalem. And if this teaser is any indication, you know it's going to be good. Look at me. I'm coming back to the stage. It's been almost 30 years. If you think Sons of Anarchy was a wild ride, you are not going to want to miss this. Of, of the well-known well stage show is making its Canadian premiere this week in Toronto. It stars actors so, Kim Coates and Nicholas uh, Campbell. They both join me now in hands. studio. Good to have you both with us. How about that for a teaser? That really was good. Really it was cool. good. You're good. Thank you, You're Ned. Good. I think I'll work with you. <laughs> <laughs> this may work. Uh, okay, let's talk about Jerusalem. Uh, it is played in uh, London and New York, premiering in Toronto now. Back to the stage. Does that feel like coming home in a way for you? Nick, Nick is, uh, you did a play not that long ago, right, not Nick? Not that long ago, but yeah, it's 1947. Yeah, <laughs> that's, right. that's right, just after the war. Yeah, no, Nick's, Nick's been on the boards recently. <laughs> I, I haven't, not yeah. since 1990. So when Mitchell Cushman and, and Philip Riccio uh, approached me a couple of years ago, I, I, I said no a couple of times. It was, it was too, too much, too, it was too, too crazy. English accent, Wilshire accent, Mark Ryland starred, won the Tony for it as Rooster Johnny Byron, and it mm. just kind of scared me. And, and, and then it was my daughter, Brenna, who's also in this production with mm. Nick and I, who said, Dad, if you say no to this, it'll be you know, a really big mistake. So, I, I re-looked at it and I said yes, and here we are, and we open this week. It's kind of exciting. Mm, so glad you cast me in this. <laughs> so am I. This is just the greatest experience I've ever had. Has, has it been great? Yeah. Yeah, and you two working together, and I know at least two other times that you guys have worked together. Yeah. We are we three. Three? Three. Oh. three now. I didn't see him on Goon. I was trying to. I was asking him to fire him because I was the <laughs> first coach. Right. I said, "What do you need this guy from LA for? I can just promote the coach too." That's right. But, he played my older brother in Goon. <laughs> So you must like each other, that you're, you're we, back working together. Unfortunately, we do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you do. I'm, I'm never going to do a play without Nick ever again. That's, that's the truth. Well, the last Same time you did here. a play was 1990, so... <laughs> yeah, 2027. And now, you mentioned your daughter, Brenna. Mm. Uh, a bit of a family affair. She's in this as well. What, what's that like? It's just incredible. She mm -hmm. graduated NYU. She's, uh, she won a, a, an Obie and a Drama Desk Award for a play called The Wolves Off-Broadway, which moved to the Lincoln Center on Broadway last year. You couldn't get a ticket to this play right out of NYU. Cool. She's uh, she's rocking it. She's really rocking it. That's amazing, and you get to work with Brenna as well. It's great. Yeah, That's Brenna's my new favorite actor. I mean, oh, good. I've seen moves from her. A really, really good actor. <laughs> How do you get into your role? He well, plays a professor. May I say, he plays a professor. <laughs> but look at this face. Doesn't that yeah. look like a professor to you? It, it does. I believe you. Nikki, tell tell them what the press was like, man. I mean, seriously. Uh, well, he 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 doesn't remember a lot of things, and I'm similarly going through a phase in my life which is not that far away, so. <laughs> Basically, I just come there and just myself, and I don't have to know anybody's names because I'm going to forget them anyway. You're just always in character. Kind of. He is. Kind of. That's Very how they cast me. Yeah. I is. was a coroner, and they made me a coroner, and now I'm an old man, and I'm playing old man. And I've heard this is quite the experience of, you know, the, the whole experience of this show. Because people who are coming to see it, they can come early, uh, I understand, and maybe have a drink yep. before the show. Maybe explain how this all works. It takes place uh, in a copse, in a, in, a, in, a, in a forest, my forest. I have a caravan, and there is a, a quite the rave party that happens the night before the play actually begins. So Mitchell Cushman wanted to do an in immersive experience and have that rave party going on with some of the actors, some of the, um, the youngish people who are not in the play but helping out early. People will be coming to their seats. And you can get a beer. You can get a, there's, there's going to be a butler who's going to serve beers. And you can so take them fun. to your seat. And there's going to be an incredible party going on before the play actually starts, which is quite an interesting way to start this play. So it's pretty exciting. That is exciting. And I to really have the you know, people that are coming really have that experience alongside with you guys. Did well, you I, want to be part of that so you can have a beer early? Oh, I was beer. thinking they asked me. And I said <laughs> yes, but it hasn't, nothing's happened. Nothing's happened yet. But I think, the, I think audience members are going to get up and start joining in. I mean, that's my fear. because Is really, it a fear or is it a hope? No, I don't know. That's a, that's a, a you know, terrifying scenario. Yeah, audiences can kind of take over. Yeah. Well, and they can drink, right? You're saying they can drink during the show? I, I, I'm I, so worried I, for you all. No, we're good. <laughs> you can we're handle all it? all right. We can, Nick and I can handle ourselves. Yeah, we'll be security. We got Danny, <laughs> Danny Cash, Diana Donnelly. We've got some amazing actors in this piece. Amazing. And we, can, we can handle ourselves. It's 15 yeah. people in this play. Yeah. Wow. You know, most plays today are two, three tops, yeah. right? Yeah. So, I mean, I love going to theater when, you know, they change it up for you. If you don't like this guy, don't worry, because another one's coming on. <laughs> no, but it, I mean, it's a, it's a factor. Yeah. And it, it's just exciting. The moment you walk in, you're going to think, oh, I'm glad I came to this.
Well, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm, I'm excited for you guys. I think it's gonna be a, a great show. Thanks. Uh, thanks both of you for being here today. Thanks oh, for having me. All pleasure. right, thanks and if you are in the Toronto area, you would like to get tickets for Jerusalem, we've got a link on our website, yourmorning.ca.